There's no need to wear these shades when I drag I need to see the leap before the strap There's so much more that can happen I'm sure that you can imagine I live around here Let me show you how to walk it Stop the traffic, so take them two legs To get you right for action with good brain Jeremy Jacobitz. Yes. <laughs> well, if you don't know, he's the man behind Instagram account called Brunch Boys. Hello, Jeremy. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for being here with no, us. No, thank you for coming to New York to come see me. Yeah, <laughs> so let's talk about business. Yes. So you're having free food, but yes. who pays money? Right. I'm one of the few people that have taken off of work to do this. I think by far the majority, it's people that still have jobs. And this is just like, fun for them and they get free food and it's whatever. I made the decision to do this full time. I knew that I wasn't just posting pictures on Instagram. Brunch Boys isn't an Instagram. It is obviously, but it's not. The business is much bigger. We do videos, we have a website, we do events, we're doing things of brands. When it took off, I realized that it could expand way beyond Instagram and it could be a brand and it could be a media thing. And I love producing, that's always been my dream. I'm producing food content. My audience happens to be on Instagram. It's the same way of, of me producing food content. And at the time, my audience was Food Network. It's all the same. I needed to figure out if I'm gonna take off a of work, I can't just go get free food. It doesn't pay my rent. It doesn't pay whatever. Um, so honestly, the way I do that is with working with brands. Again, I do that in different ways. A lot of other Instagrammers, you could, it's just like, hey, a brand will come after us. Hey, we'll give you some money, post about our thing on Instagram. Great, they do that. And, and yes, that's what I do too. That's how I make money, for the most part. It's sponsored content, though, is how I put it, because it's not just post on Instagram. I say, okay, you wanna work with me? We can do we could do a simple picture on Instagram. You can pay me for that. We could do an activation event. I did a, I did like a brunch happy hour with a juice company. They paid me, I put together an event, I brought in Instagrammers, we made a whole social impact. I threw an event for them. Do you bring Instagrammers or you bring your followers as well? Like, hey, hi guys. It's, it's both, it, it's both. It, it depends on the company, it depends on what they're asking for. Uh, you know, obviously like their clients. So when they come to me and say, hey, we want to do events, the question is, all right, do you want Instagrammers? Do you want both? Do you want whatever? You know, do you want a combo? But we just did a puppy brunch. Yeah. That was with both. So, you know, work the brands. Hey, we had 25 influencers there. We sold 50 tickets. We had a little bit of mix and we made a huge impact. Like the social impact alone was well over a million eyes. The PR that we got out of it, because like I threw a really, I threw the first puppy brunch, millions and millions of eyes. You know, we were on the news, we we're in newspapers, we we're on, on online publications. Like we made a real impact. And I think that's just one step more than what other Instagrammers are doing. And it's not to say they couldn't do it, it's that they have jobs and I didn't. So I take the time to work on these things. I dedicate every day, I go in the office and I work on these things. I do events, we do videos, we do pictures. I can concentrate on it, okay. you know, yeah. You're talking about we, because when I was checking <laughs> right. your, your, your website, I was thinking, wow, this is a proper, you know, business. It's not just an Instagram account, definitely. Yes. You know, supposed to be some way, it's a team of people. Yes. Don't tell me that you're working on this alone. <laughs> I won't believe you, no. it, It's sort of just me. Um, <laughs> I know, I, I confuse myself and I, I definitely confuse everybody because I always say we, because again, it's it's my marketing. It's putting myself out there. As you said, you said I, you thought it was much bigger than I was. That was That's the whole point who's of it. Your, who is your marketing manager? Who is your PR manager? Who is in charge of the you know, website development or me. communication? I, I do everything. Wow. I do everything. I mean, listen, I have people to help me yeah. here and there. I have a lot of great friends and a lot of people that believe in me. And when people can help me, they help me. Exactly, and I think that's the. I think that's how I push myself different. Someone interviewed me the other day, and they wanted to. Um, they let me fact check the article, and they had me saying they, they had me saying, you know, Brunch Boys does a lot of sponsored posts for people, and that's how he's making money. And it, sponsored posts feels dirty. It feels like it, it doesn't feel like a business of so sponsored posts. I'm like sponsored content. You know, we work with brands. I think that just puts out a different thing. Brands are used to working with people. They're not used to paying people to post on Instagram. So if I come to a bigger brand, I'm like, hey, we'll do a sponsored post. 
they don't understand that. They don't know how to, you know, they're, they're so used to, hey, if we do marketing on TV, they know how to judge it. This is how many viewers it got. This is how we saw the sales go up. That's we justify giving millions of dollars or whatever it is. With an Instagram, it's like, all right, so like 8,000 people like the photo, like how do we justify that? When I think we say like sponsor content and we do, we, even the videos help me, even the events help me, because that's more things they're used to paying for. So I think that's just another way to make myself different. I think it's all about being different. There's so many food Instagram accounts. Lots of people try and take advantage of us. Honestly, we, we, uh, this is what I said, you know, I, I, I keep saying this, we have, a real, we have a real audience. We deserve real money. And I think a lot of people think that, oh, well, they're Instagrammers, so we'll just give them whatever, who cares? And they'll just do it. Well, I think the industry definitely is changing. And they need to it's definitely changing. To come up it's something. definitely changing because they're seeing that, wow, not only is it a real audience, but it's an engaged audience. You could pay millions of dollars to advertise on television. And guess what? My generation, 100% generation lower than me, or you know, the next generation beyond me, they don't watch TV. They don't even own a TV. I love TV. I'm always going to own a TV. I have a DVR, skip past commercials. The, you know, what, they're not even paying attention to it. Where when it's on Instagram, they're commenting you know, on these ads. They're saying, oh my God, like what are the, like that cheeseburger looks amazing. Oh my, I have to go to this restaurant. I have to go there. Like they're actually engaged with, with the advertisement, which is way beyond it. To me, that's so much more valuable. I should be getting paid more than, more than the people that are skipping over the commercials. I think that the, the brands, aren't there yet but i think i think it's changing i think they're realizing that jeremy do you think instagram still will be like the number one for you uh, social network or are you already checking other social networks like trying to put different content? i th i think that i think that instagram for me is always going to be number one okay so you have more than 200,000 Close, close. We're, well, by the time I say ours, I'll have over 200,000 followers, so yes. But still, can you tell us, like, how do you see yourself in five years? How are we going to end this journey? My goal is to continue to produce food. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing on Instagram. That's what I've been doing. And I think that I've now given myself a platform where I could produce it for myself and not other people. And that's what I want to do. I love making food videos. I love making food shows. And I think as my brand grows and as my audience grows, I can do more different things. If I have an audience of a million people, that's more than the, the, the cable networks I've worked on. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's me now producing real shows just for a different platform. And you know, as I said before, people don't watch TV anymore. They're gonna go to Instagram to watch your food videos or wherever, or whatever the social platform is, it doesn't matter, to watch those food videos. And I think that's what I wanna do. That's what I'm going to continue to do because that's what I've been doing. Great, Jeremy. I think you are a truly uh, genius entrepreneur. Thank you, thank you. I wish you all the luck. Thank you. Well, I believe it will be super successful. <laughs> hopefully. And uh, hopefully to see you again. Yes. Um, in Asia, please. Yes, that's why I wanna come. I wanna come. Oh, yeah, if anyone wants to like sponsor me to come visit you. Oh. <laughs> if, anyone, if anyone wants to sponsor me to come visit you guys, I'm down. Okay, so here you guys, I think we are um, um, wrapping up. Uh, it was Jeremy Jacobitz. <laughs> yes, or brunch just Brunch Boys. Boys. People just call brunch me Brunch Boys. Boys. Follow Jeremy brunch, brunch Boys. Boys, that's what happens. Yes, follow Brunch Boys across all platforms. And here you go, this is the, uh, the true example of new entrepreneurs. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Jeremy. No, thank you. And happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.